All right. Let's bring in now Maddie Duppler. She is senior fellow at the National Taxpayers Union and a board member at the Center for a Free Economy, which maybe is appropriate, Maddie, because many people simply call tariffs a tax <laughs> not on the producer, exactly. but on the consumer. The idea is that is that the cost will go up enough that we want to shift the manufacturing here. Do you think there's any indication that that is going to happen, or is it simply going to result in a consumer products hike? That's exactly right, Brian. I'm one of those people who thinks tariffs are taxes. They're just paid at the border. So the notion that the administration continues to propagate, which is that foreign countries pay tariffs, simply isn't correct. You know, in your conversation with Eunice there, I think, was illuminating. The question of the Chinese tariffs that are going into effect today for the administration is what is this supposed to accomplish? We've heard from the Trump administration time and time again. They think China needs to come to the negotiating table to rectify a lot of their bad practices in the past. And I certainly would agree with you there. There's a lot of issues that we have with China. When when it comes to international commerce, when we uh, looking at protecting IP here in the United States, uh, forced technology transfers when United, com United States companies try to do business in China, all of these are questions that the administration is trying to solve. But I don't see how a new round of tariffs on American consumers does that. Now, this is happening against the backdrop of a couple important components here in the United States. One is that the president heads to New York today to talk to the United uh, Nations General Assembly. Of course, there will be a lot of themes there about America first and American exceptionalism, uh, which is simply is not going to find a, I think, positive response with our partners who we need in order to enforce a lot mm -hmm. of the bad actions in China. But secondly, of course, every week where we see new tariffs is a week closer to the midterm elections here, where the Trump administration should be able to focus on the gangbusters economy instead raising prices on consumers. But don't it's you going to reverse that message? I'm glad. Glad you said those words, the midterm election, because don't you think the Chinese, who are very politically savvy, mm -hmm. are going to wait until that is done to really do anything? Because if the GOP were to lose the House or the Senate or maybe both, that the 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 chess game yep. for trade and for the president is going to change dramatically. If the GOP controls all three after that, well, okay, the Chinese are back to where they were. Yep. But why not wait and see what happens and see if they've got a little bit of extra leverage to yes. play with? Brian, I agree with you entirely. And remember, the administration, when it announced these new tariffs last week, said that a 10% uh, effective rate was happening on these Chinese goods uh, this uh, today. But starting January 1, that rate goes up to 25%. So basically, the administration at this point has shown all its cards. It's telegraphing to Beijing exactly how it sees the trade war playing out right now. You've got Secretary Ross saying that, well, China's out of bullets now. They have to come to the table. And that simply isn't the case. Not only do they still have bullets with tariffs that they can use, retaliatory efforts that include disrupting our supply chains here. Uh, but they also know exactly where the United States is headed. They know the United States will continue to implement tariffs without giving them a reason to come to the negotiating table. Yeah. When you see new tariffs going into effect and you know the administration, that's their plan, uh, Beijing can simply say, well, we can't come to the table. We know exactly what's in store for us. The greatest part of America is that we are an optimistic bunch. You have to admit that. We, we like to see the brighter side exactly. of things. I think, media, media aside, maybe locally, but here's Here's the thing, Maddie. You just heard Eunice talk about how they are, quote, downbeat mm -hmm. in China. The U.S. consumer does not appear downbeat. The stock market is up this year. We've had a nice September. There doesn't seem to be a real concern about the tariffs yet. Do, you, do we have any indication as to why we're not feeling more of a negative repercussion from it? Well, I think there's a couple of reasons for that. One is that the tariffs are happening at a time where we've seen a renaissance in American manufacturing, and a number of other public policies in Washington, D.C. really have fundamentally re-altered the way the American economy works. The Tax Cut and Jobs Act last year was, in t was extremely important for American competitiveness. That, combined with, the tr combined with the Trump administration's deregulatory agenda, really has fixed the business climate uh, for a lot of the problems American businesses have faced. So that, of course, has inoculated a little bit of the uh, political pressure that we would have seen otherwise from the trade war. But, you know, again, the market reaction has been interesting when it comes to the tariff uh, actions by the administration. Last week, when the announcement was made about the tariffs, uh, the Chinese uh, response to that was the least bad response that we were expecting. We thought that maybe the Chinese tariffs that mm -hmm. in retaliation would have been higher. Uh, and the stock market not, nece didn't necessarily price in the worst reaction, but that doesn't mean that the worst reaction isn't coming. Like I said, the Chinese know to keep their powder dry right now, and the markets reacted to seeing the Chinese uh, come in at that lower level. That doesn't necessarily mean good news. Yeah, it's only, what, five or six weeks away? Why not wait to see how it plays out? Maddie exactly Duppler, right. National Taxpayers Union. Happy Monday. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon, Maddie. Of course. All right, still ahead. We are on Washington Watch as well. Big headlines out of that nation's capital that need to be on your radar this week outside.